Today I'm going to see if I can help people import a Sony Action Cam log file into Dashware and getting the date to read properly. If you open Dashware and you put in a normal log file from your Action Cam, it will come up looking like this and everything appears to be working fine you come in you sync your video extend all this all the way out and if you go through and look at your video the date is incorrect what I'm going to do is show you how to quickly fix that issue and still retain all your other data so first thing you do is, is we're going to get rid of this guy and we're going to minimize him for a minute. I've already imported the video I wanted to use that associates with the GPS log file that goes with this video as I imported it from the Sony Action Cam. The next thing I'm going to do is, is I'm going to open up a software called GPS Track Editor. And I will get rid of this stuff for you so it looks new. And what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to open up that log file which is in my documents in the Sony and I usually copy those off into another folder uh, to get the right one uh, associate that folder with the right videos as I import them in I just come grab them out of here and import them into the same folder so that way I have uh, can keep track of them but they're all dated so the ones that we're talking about are these two right here on 423 and I'm going to import both of those into my track editor by just dragging them over and you can see the data is there and the first one and they're actually in my storage drive so I have my Sony videos my first video is extension uh, was 00676 which is that one in there shows that it was actually two videos combined and that goes with my first log file of the day and in my second video was 00680 with a one that means they had two videos so that day I had a total of four videos that were combined into two different videos by the play memories did that on its own just by going here to import media files went through the importer and it knows smart enough to know how to associate these log files with the individual videos so I know my first video the lower number has this log file so I'm going to take this guy and save it as a GPX type file so I'm going to call this converted and I'm going to save it in my past my GPS here I'm just going to save it right here. I already have one. I'm going to save it. You wouldn't already have one, but I do. Because I had done this already. If I wanted to save it somewhere else, I could save it somewhere else. I could save it here and call it converted for dashware. And I could save it. So anyways, I come in here and now I have that one I just created I'm done with this so I can minimize it or close it out reopen up my dashware go into my folder browse it in and I'm going in here convert it for dashware that's one I just created we hit OK I'm going to associate it because it's a GPX file I'm going to associate it with GPX I'm going to hit add I'm going to come back in here. I'm going to set my video back to zero. I'm going to sync it. And now you see that my date is proper. The 23rd of April 2016. And the time remains the same. And just to show that there is nothing going on. I'm going to drop another one on there just to show you how it works. Drop another one on there, exact same one, 
and you'll see that no matter what I do, it's associated. So, I just got back over here in the corner, and once I do that, easy, voila, done. I've successfully imported a Sony Action Cam log file into Dashware, and I am now able to use all the all the data points by converting it to a GPX. The GPS track editor uh, software is a free software. You can get it on the internet. I'm sure there's others out there. This is the one that I use, but you're more than welcome to try any of the others. The key is getting it to a GPX.